Welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into the latest update from the Catchy OS team. Catchy OS is a large Linux based distribution known for bringing some unique performance boosts and graphical enhancements, making it especially attractive for both everyday users and gamers. This new update packs quite a punch, with improvements for both AMD and Nvidia GPUs, tweaks to the installation process, and even more polish on the KDE Plasma desktop experience. If you're a Linux fan or just curious about what makes this OS special, stick around because there's a lot to cover. The developers have released a fresh ISO snapshot for Catchy OS, bringing significant updates and optimizations. This update doesn't just add new features, but focuses on improving the overall performance and stability of the system. So, let's break it down. If you're an AMD GPU user, this update is tailored for you in several exciting ways. First, the new CatchOS backports something called the THP Shrinker from the upcoming Linux 6.13 kernel. Now, you may be wondering what that even means. In simple terms, THP or Transparent Huge Pages is a system feature that manages memory more efficiently, especially for demanding tasks. The shrinker part of it helps reduce memory use when this setting is turned on, especially if you have it set to always. This feature is helpful for both desktop users and gamers because it can free up memory that might otherwise be used unnecessarily, helping your system run smoother overall. Another feature making its way to catchy ways is this release is the AMD Cache Optimizer. This is a great addition for those who use their system for gaming or other high performance tasks. The Cache Optimizer, as its name suggests, helps to manage the CPU cache better, which can directly impact gaming performance by ensuring that the CPU can access data faster and more efficiently. If you game on an AMD processor, this improvement could lead to smoother gameplay with less stuttering. Along with this, the new Cache OS update also includes performance fixes for a specific set of AMD laptops using Strix Point processors. These laptops benefit from a feature called AMD P-State, which helps manage the power state of your processor. By fine-tuning these states, Catchy OS can make sure that these laptops use power more efficiently, leading to better battery life and smoother performance. Finally, the update includes improvements specifically for AMD's latest generation of graphics cards, the RDNA 3 series. With this update, CatchOS makes sure the GPUs run better, allowing users to take full advantage of their power without facing compatibility issues or performance drops. This update also brings some major improvements for NVIDIA users. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll be pleased to know that CatchOS has fixed an issue that was causing problems with DLSS frame generation. For those unfamiliar, DLSS, short for Deep Learning Super Sampling, is a feature NVIDIA offers to boost frame rates and improve graphics quality in games. Frame generation is a part of DLSS that helps to produce smoother visuals, especially in high-performance games. With this fix, DLSS should now work as expected on Catchy OS, giving NVIDIA users a better gaming experience. Additionally, Catchy OS now automatically disables the GSP firmware if you switch to the proprietary NVIDIA graphics drivers manually. This means that the GSP firmware is a part of NVIDIA driver stack that helps manage power and other functions on the GPU. But, as some users found, it can cause issues with certain configurations, so disabling it makes things simpler and more reliable. This change means that if you're switching to the closed source NVIDIA drivers for better performance or compatibility, you won't have to worry about any unnecessary hiccup from the GSP firmware. Another helpful addition for NVIDIA laptop users is that CatchOS now enables the NVIDIA powered D service by default on compatible devices. The service helps manage the power usage on NVIDIA GPUs in laptops, which can be a big help in extending battery life and keeping performance stable. So, if you're running CatchOS on an NVIDIA laptop, you should see better battery management with this update. Now, let's talk about the desktop environment. CatchOS comes with the KDE Plasma desktop by default, which has been popular for its customization options and sleek look. With this release, CatchOS is updated to KDE Plasma 6.2.3, the latest version that brings even more stability and features. Alongside this update, the CatchOS team has also added the KDE Plasma Addons package, which is a collection of extra that can improve your Plasma experience. These addons brings useful widgets and tools that you can place on your desktop to make it more functional and personalized. So whether you want a calendar, CPU monitor or other handy widgets, this package makes it easier to customize your setup. 
For those using the catchOS handheld edition, there is a new warning in place if you try to install it on a device that isn't a handheld gaming device. The handheld edition is optimized for handheld consoles, so this warning helps users avoid installing it on regular computers where it may not work as intended. Also, support for specific handheld gaming devices like the ROG Ally X has been improved, making it easier to get great performance on these specialized devices. The CatchOS team has also made some valuable changes to the installation process. CatchOS uses the Calamares Universal Installer which provides a modern, user-friendly way to install the operating system. In this update, Calamares has been enhanced to improve partitioning with a swap partition. A swap partition is used as virtual memory which can be helpful if you're running low on RAM during demanding tasks. With better handling on swap, users may find that their system performs more smoothly under heavy loads. One notable change is that CatchOS has reverted the three-way partitioning setup of RE-Find, a popular boot manager. This means that the installation now uses a simpler configuration which should make the boot process more straightforward and reduce potential issues, especially for those who dual boot with other operating systems. The team has also added a handy new script that checks if you're using the latest CatchOS ISO when you install the system. If you're trying to install CatchOS with an outdated ISO, the script will notify you, letting you know that it's a good idea to download the latest version. The simple addition can help users avoid compatibility problems due to outdated packages, especially since Arch-based systems like CatchOS rely on having the latest software. Lastly, CatchOS has addressed some issues with display timing on high-resolution monitors. If you have a setup with a 5120x1440 resolution and 240Hz refresh rate, you may have noticed occasional timing problems in the past. This update should fix those issues, providing a smoother display experience for those using high resolutions, high refresh rate monitors. If you're excited about this update and want to give CatchOS a try, you can download the latest ISO from the official CatchOS website. For those already using CatchOS, there is no need to reinstall the OS, you can simply update your system by opening a terminal and running the following command. If you prefer a graphical interface, you can open the Plasma Discover Software Center to apply the updates. So that's the rundown of what's new in CatchOS. From GPU performance enhancements and improved installation tools to a polished desktop environment, this release brings something for everyone. Whether you're a gamer, developer, or just someone who loves customizing the Linux experience, CatchOS has made some great strides with this update. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.